name is Nicolas Blanc. The point of departure of the work is really coming from the music. Anna Klein is the composer of this gorgeous, gorgeous cello concerto. Anna Klein has based her composition on a poem, five lines of a poem by Rumi, Persian 13th century poet. Dance when you're broken open. Dance if you've torn the bandage off. Dance in the middle of the fighting. Dance in your blood. Dance when you're perfectly free. I want to translate that and bring this idea into the dance itself. That dance is a liberation, a soothing, a sense of solace. You have those incredible, majestic, lyrical moments punctuated with darkness, turmoil, and that juxtaposition that bounces back and forth between beauty and darkness is what is making the music so, so powerful. The piece is a mix between a narrative and an abstract. We have one person who is the poet himself, and the dancers around him, they are representing words and emotions and thoughts. And because Rumi was from Persia from the 13th century, I thought that it would be great to, in the background, have a representation of dunes and, and a, a desert landscape. That, like, there is something that you push in the sand, yeah? The feel that we get is something of heat, of sand, of wind through the dunes. Yes, yes. Ha, ha. The energy in the studio is phenomenal. There is a real sense of conversation. I use a lot of imagery, a lot of metaphors, and I like to play with an emotion and ask them how would that be translated in movement. It gives a sense of story that's really essential, I think, for a dancer. I chose to have Mel's duet in my work because of my research about Rumi. Sham was a Sufist, and when Rumi met Shams, something in Rumi broke free, the spark of a, of a fire. Uh, what I've read about Shams is that Shams disappeared. Rumi was devastated by that and started to write so much poetry. I think that to have a male duet, for me, is sort of a, an abstract tribute to that relationship between Shams and Rumi. This uh, new festival is going to bring various voices, from ballet to modern to contemporary. And I think that this mix, this combination between all of us is going to produce something quite unique. It's a platform to push the envelope further and to take risks. And I think this is brilliant. Mm -hmm.